From a literal bunch of scaredy cats in Osaka, Japan, who felt an earthquake coming before it actually struck, and a 6.1 magnitude quake that nearly destroyed an entire airport in the Philippines, to a powerful tremor in China that sent students ducking for cover, and an event in 2015 that destroyed over 600,000 buildings in Nepal. Here are 10 earthquakes that were caught on CCTV cameras. Izmir is a metropolitan city in western Turkey on the east bank of the Aegean Sea. After Istanbul and Ankara, Izmir is the third most populous city in Turkey and operates as its central hub for exports. The area is a seismically active region, and that activity was on full display around Halloween of 2020. On October 30th of 2020, an earthquake registering between 6.6 and 7.0 struck about 9 miles off the coast of Samos, a Greek island south of Izmir. Employees at an advertising firm in the city braced themselves in the office, hoping the building wouldn't collapse beneath them. We see where the girl in green's priorities lie as she risks everything to grab her phone. Elsewhere in the office, we see hanging lights swinging in the lobby as the girl in green tries to find something to hold on to. Another man hustles to hide under a desk moments before a light fixture falls from the ceiling. Rolling desks and chairs slide across the floor as other office employees try to hold on to something stable. One woman almost gets knocked out by a falling printer. The main quake was followed by 1,400 aftershocks, with 43 registering as 4.0 magnitude mini-quakes. The initial quake also triggered a tsunami, which damaged several coastal towns around the province. Ya'an is a prefecture-level city in western Sichuan province, China. Located just below the Tibetan Plateau, they're mostly worried about monsoons, floods, and landslides. But that doesn't mean they're impervious to other natural disasters. On June 1st of 2022, a 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck Ya'an City. Multiple CCTV cameras from around the area captured everyone's immediate reaction. Some of the most telling footage comes from Lushan Middle School, where students had clearly practiced their earthquake drills. The earthquake strikes, forcing a frightened mom to grab her child and race toward the door. She hesitates, though, as debris may be falling in front of the door. Elsewhere, a sleeping dog takes off after the quake interrupts nap time. At Lushan Middle, students hear the distant sirens and immediately hide under their desks. Once it's safe, their teacher has everyone flee the classroom. An early warning went out to 10 million people around the epicenter about 9 seconds before the earthquake struck. Perhaps that's what the students in the second classroom heard over the intercom as they all dropped under their desks in near-perfect unison.
Sulawesi is one of the five main islands that make up Indonesia. The country itself is the largest archipelago in the world, with over 18,000 islands and inlets under Indonesian control. Most of those islands exist in a complex tectonic setting between the Australian, Pacific, Philippine, and Sunda plates, making them highly susceptible to earthquakes and tsunamis. On September 28th of 2018, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck the Minahasa Peninsula, a thin strip of land around the Gulf of Tomini. Aside from 150 aftershocks, the quake also sent several 5-foot tsunami waves crashing into the coast. Then, a massive 18-foot wave washed over the entire island. It looks like a small crowd is preparing for a show. Then, the earthquake strikes. The CCTV camera shakes as the crowd scatters in every direction. Loose objects fall from the ceiling, and people literally throw themselves over the tables in utter panic. Water floods the perimeter, and we can see the floor tiles cracking and popping out of place. Meanwhile, security cameras by the port almost break off their mounts when the earthquake strikes. They remain intact long enough to record a loading crane toppling over and crashing into the pavement. Near the coast, dashcam footage shows the earthquake striking in Kota Palu. Trees bend back and forth as people rush for cover. Water crashes over the seawall, causing one man to debate whether it's safe or not to get in his car and drive away. According to Vox, the earthquake reduced thousands of buildings to rubble and left a complete humanitarian disaster behind. Clark International is an airport in the northern Philippines, servicing domestic and international flights. Clark's history dates back to 1919, when the U.S. Army converted the area into an airfield, and that airfield served as an important overseas base during World War II. The Philippine government took control in the early 90s, and Clark International Airport opened in 1996. 23 years later, on April 22nd of 2019, a 6.1 magnitude earthquake rocked Clark International and those inside. Travelers grabbed their loved ones and scattered for cover, but some wound up trapped when debris began falling from the ceiling. A terminal full of eager travelers descends into chaos as the earthquake shakes everything inside, including our CCTV cameras. One man gets stuck on a banister after getting through security. He almost drags the entire line with him. We see another security team panic as they run for cover. Debris and light fixtures fall from the ceiling, narrowly missing two women. At the check-in area, people cover their heads and hope for the best. And at the end of the line, we see a few men barely escape outside before the roof caves in above them. Aftermath shots of check-in and the departure area make one thing pretty clear. A powerful earthquake just tore through Clark International Airport. Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal and serves as the country's most important business district. But on April 25th of 2015, a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake brought business to a grinding halt. It was the worst natural disaster to strike the country in nearly 100 years. To make things worse, the quake triggered an avalanche on Mount Everest that claimed 22 lives, the deadliest day in Everest history. Entire villages crumbled, leaving hundreds of thousands of people homeless throughout the country. In the city of Tripurishwar, CCTV cameras captured the moment when the earthquake struck. Scooters, cars, and foot traffic navigate the busy intersection. It's hard to imagine driving like that, but local Nepalis are pretty used to it. Then, the ground starts shaking, and people start running. Cars stop in their tracks as clusters of people gather in the street, not wanting to stand near any tall buildings. Nobody moves once the quake subsides. They are well aware an aftershock could strike at any moment. Now, This clip doesn't do justice to the total destruction experienced that day. Elsewhere in Nepal, 600,000 structures were either damaged or completely leveled. 9,000 people lost their lives, but the toll could have been much higher if the earthquake didn't strike when it did. Many locals were working outside, away from tall buildings and other falling debris when it hit.
On August 14th of 2021, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake rocked the Tiburon Peninsula, a region in southwestern Haiti. Tsunami warnings spread across the Haitian coast, but there was little anybody could do. It was the worst earthquake to strike Haiti since 2010 and the deadliest natural disaster of 2021. Customers at a local grocery store were doing their weekly shopping when the earthquake suddenly struck. CCTV cameras from inside the store show us how powerful a 7.2 magnitude tremor can be. A woman strolls down the aisle, clueless that a powerful earthquake is about to ruin her day. She makes it halfway down when the ground starts shaking, causing her and another woman to hightail it out of the store. Seconds later, everything comes flying off the shelves. Coolers roll away from the wall. In fact, the whole store slides like it's on wheels. Like our grocery store, several other buildings in the area were damaged or completely destroyed during the quake. You may have seen this clip go viral on social media as it amassed over 3 million views on TikTok. With just under 300,000 people, Anchorage is the most populous city in Alaska. As the state capital, it's home to about 40% of the population, and the city itself covers more land area than Rhode Island. Now, while you might not think of earthquakes when you picture Alaska, they're actually pretty common, with a magnitude 7 or higher occurring every one or two years. On Friday, November 30th of 2018, one of those 7.0s struck north of Anchorage around 8.30 a.m. The National Tsunami Warning Center, conveniently located inside the quake zone in Palmer, Alaska, issued warnings to the nearby coastal areas. Meanwhile, CCTV cameras inside the Alaska Children's Academy preschool caught the entire event on camera. A camera in a small, one-on-one -on -one classroom shakes as the earthquake knocks loose items off the shelf. According to the staff, the CCTV cameras were on hooks, which is why they shook so violently. Thankfully, the school is always closed on Fridays. In another part of the school, we see the earthquake strike the main learning area. Kudos to those chairs for not falling off the desks. According to reports, about 117 people suffered minor injuries, ranging from small cuts and bruises to broken bones. And while our preschool stood strong, other schools closer to the epicenter on Point Mackenzie suffered severe damage. Overall, the earthquake caused about $30 million in damage across the city. Osaka, Japan is the third most populous city in the country, located on the banks of Osaka Bay on Honshu Island. The city plays a crucial role in Japan's economy and is highly regarded among the most multicultural cities in East Asia. It's also home to the Osaka Exchange, one of four primary stock exchanges in Japan. When all those business people need a place to relax, they visit one of Osaka's many cat cafes. Here, they can enjoy some peace and quiet, have a snack, and hang out with cats for about 200 yen per 10 minutes. But on June 18th of 2018, when a 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck the city, the cat cafes were anything but peaceful. We see the cats hopping down from their beds. They can tell something is up. Then the earthquake strikes, sending every feline in the building scattering like, well, scaredy cats. Once the ground stops shaking, all of them seem to chill out. 
they go right back to being lovable, lazy kitty cats. Clearly, these cats knew something was about to happen, but what does science say about animals predicting earthquakes? According to the U.S. Geological Survey, most of the evidence is anecdotal, meaning we don't know for sure, but enough people claim they've seen it. They can certainly feel it before we do, as seen in this video. Earthquakes emit two waves, a primary P wave and a secondary and more powerful S wave. Basically, animals can feel the P wave, but humans can't. Most wave pools leverage water displacement to send rolling waves toward excited swimmers. It's similar to how earthquakes and landslides trigger tsunamis. But this pool outside a Nepali hotel during the 2015 earthquake wasn't supposed to make waves that big. It wasn't supposed to make waves at all. CCTV cameras were rolling when the earthquake struck. We apologize in advance for the shaky footage. What begins as a calm day by the pool quickly descends into complete chaos. The security camera starts shaking as the earthquake strikes, like a child rattling a wrapped Christmas present. Water splashes over the sides of the pool, causing waves to flow back and forth. The waves get bigger with each lap, but eventually calm down as the earthquake subsides. Thankfully, nobody decided that April 25th of 2015 was a good day for a swim. At least, nobody staying at this hotel. On September 5th of 2022, a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake struck in Sichuan Province, China. Its primary target was Lu Ding County, a community of about 86,000 people. Considering it missed Sichuan's capital city of Chengdu, home to more than 21 million people, things could have been much worse. A couple was driving home when the earthquake struck Luding County. Their dash cam recorded the entire ordeal as the ground rattled around their car. Our driver slams on the brakes as the earthquake strikes. The way the trees bend back and forth, it almost looks like a tornado is tearing through town. Awnings collapse in piles of dust, and we see one man sprinting down the road for dear life. Our driver thinks about pulling off to the side, but realizes they're safer in the middle of the street and away from falling debris. According to Reuters, all 21 million people felt the quake in Chengdu, but most of the damage was localized in Luding County. The quake also triggered a few landslides, which damaged several roads and homes near the epicenter. People in Luding claim the earthquake was so strong it was hard to remain standing. Judging from the dashcam footage, we're inclined to believe them. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.